Hi, my name is Greg Zeller. I'm with Sabian Symbols. I'm a regional manager that covers the eastern seaboard for Sabian. We talked about hammering as done for shape, but the byproduct of hammering really impacts the overall sound of the cymbal. And the way that happens is by changing the size of the hammer peen and the location of the hammer marks. Now we'll talk about our two series of AA and AAX and what it is that makes those two cymbals different. Primarily, it's in hammering and lathing. As we looked at the blank here, this particular blank at this stage could become any of our cast series symbols at this point. It's how it gets treated from this point forward that turns it into AA or AAX or HH or HHX. These are two samples that I have uh, of hammer patterns that hopefully you'll be able to uh, see more clearly. This particular pattern here, this is our AAX hammer pattern. You can see that the hammer peen marks on there are about the size of a dime. This one is our AA hammer pattern, and the hammer marks here are more of the size of a tic-tac mint, and you can see there's quite a few of them. They're very uniformly placed, and they're in concentric circles all the way around the cymbal. Now, what happens when you hammer the cymbal, the, the hammer mark actually compresses the metal at that point, so that metal becomes more dense than the non-compressed metal that's not been hammered. Travel, or sound, when it travels through the cymbal, normally when you hit a cymbal, the sound wants to travel from the edge of the cymbal into the bell and back out. The lathing marks, which we'll talk about in a minute, are what carry those vibrations through the cymbal and allow the cymbal to open up if that's what we want it to do. As that sim or the sound vibrations are traveling through the cymbal and hits that compressed, dense metal, it actually accelerates through that and then hits the non-compressed metal, decelerates again, and it kind of creates this pinball effect and starts sending vibrations all through the cymbal. So if we want more effect out of the bell, for example, which is going to contribute to overtones, we can hammer it in such a way to influence those vibrations to get more vibrations out of the bell. If we want less of that, then we would hammer it in such a way to create that. So with AA, this is a machine hammered cymbal. Now, Although the, the machine is doing the hammering, there's still a craftsman that has to manipulate the symbol underneath that hammer mark to get these placed correctly. So machine hammering is done because it allows us to control very precisely the pressure of that hammer peen and how deep these marks are, which is really critical because AA, in the end, is a very high energy symbol. And what that means is to get it to speak uh, really where it's supposed to speak, you need to play it at or near its maximum potential. That's great if you're playing in a fairly aggressive situation that's not necessarily very dynamic, but we've had a lot of drummers that liked the qualities of AA but are playing in a more dynamic music situation. They need their cymbals to open up at a lower dynamic range. So with AAX, we decided to create a larger hammer mark, so we've got larger areas of dense metal now, so the sound vibrations can more easily escape out of that cymbal. The net result of that is it, it creates what we call autofocus response, which essentially means that you have a volume control on this symbol. As you turn the volume up, the EQ of the symbol stays the same. With AA, basically as you turn the volume up, also the high band of the EQ spectrum goes up with it. So the louder it gets, the brighter it gets. AAX stays consistent through its full dynamic spectrum. AA symbols that we talked about being uh, fairly bright, AA was the first series of symbols that Sabian introduced when we started back in the end of 1981. For that reason, AA tends to be more of a vintage sound. And being that the symbol is fairly bright, it falls into what we call our vintage bright category. You'll see in our marketing that we've got uh, four subcategories to help better identify where the symbols fall within a tonal spectrum. So we've got AA, which is going to be a vintage bright. We've got AAX, which is more of a modern tonality. So that's what we call modern bright. And then we get into our hand-hammered symbols. The other thing I want to point out that's really important is our warranty. Sabian is very proud of the manufacturing efforts that we do, and we stand by our products. We've introduced a two-year warranty now on all of our series symbols. That's from B8 all the way up through hand-hammered. So you can rest assured that if you're going to put Sabian on your kit, we're going to stand behind it, and I think you're going to like the way it sounds.